Meredith! Hey, Robert. How are you? I was away for a few days, on an urgent job out of state. I'm good. It's nice to see you again. Here's the mail. Thanks, and likewise. Hmm, priority mail from Town Hall. Let's see what they have to say this time. Dear Mr. Harris, on behalf of yada yada yada, concerning Environmental Management Act 1213, yada yada yada, uh, wait. What? <laughs> Listen to this. We have decided to postpone the construction of apartments for at least six months. We hope this satisfies you as well as the many residents of Providence Oaks that contacted us with their unfiltered and enthusiastic comments. It worked. The plan worked. Wow, great. So happy for you, Robert. We need to celebrate this. Uh, how about tomorrow night? Steak dinner at Moe's or something else on me. Oh, I'd love that. Great. It's gonna be fun. See you tomorrow night, then. Gotta go now. The telephone troops need to know the assault can be abandoned. Here's your mail.
I didn't bring the package. The wax worms have arrived. Ew! Have I been walking around with worms? <laughs> you sure have. They're just in time. I'm taking the boat to the island this afternoon. Great. Have fun. Hey, you can tag along if you want, like your father used to. But I'm not helping you with any wax worms. Oh, really? Sounds like fun. Okay, we'll show up here at 4 p.m. sharp. Just make sure you have both oars in the water. That's what I always say. So, is this a quiet day, or does it always take this long? Fishing requires patience. We've only been here for two hours. I'm afraid patience is not my strong suit. Yeah, there's a fine line between boredom and relaxation. I find it hard to relax sometimes. 
Fishing also requires silence. Bert, can I ask you a question? <sighs> Do you like Maureen? <sighs> we ought to be heading back home. It's been a fine day and I thank you for the company. Kay's tape. Let's have a listen. Okay. <clears throat> okay. Driving along the highway, headlights light up the sign. Thinking of what might have been Radio keeps track of time Hello? Hi, Meredith. Guess what I signed today? Hmm, let me think. The m, m m monster deal Oh, yes. You are now talking to Steve Mitchell, CEO of a multi-million dollar enterprise. But before I continue my insufferable bragging, I have a thing or two to say to you, about you. You've been a huge part of the success of this company, and I feel this is just the beginning. We're entering the golden age of personal computers, and we've got front row tickets. The past two weeks have made me realize that I couldn't have done it without you, and I'm going to need you even more in the coming years. So, here's a new monster deal I want you to think about. Become a partner in the company for 20% of the shares and a significant pay raise. Significant. The only condition is that I need your commitment for the next five years. So, there it is. Think about it, and let's talk about it more when you're back in the office. Wow, Steve, that sounds great. Just let it sink in a bit. I don't need an answer right now. I have to get back to my uh, million dollar lifestyle. Actually, no, I, I need to get cranking on lots of stuff. Talk soon, Meredith. Good evening, feline friends. Aunt Meredith's gonna keep you company tonight. Come here. Kitty, kitty. Ow! A postcard from Angie. Miss Meredith, I am so, so sorry I haven't been able to see you. It's just that I've been swamped organizing my not-so-timely exit from Providence Oaks. I'm sure you understand. You've probably seen the foreclosure notice. That certainly helped expedite my decision to leave. Anyway, I'll be honest. I'm still thinking about that kiss we shared in the car. And I don't usually dwell on these kind of things. So, feel special, Meredith. I hear you're going to the open mic night on Sunday. I wasn't planning on going, but I want to see you before I leave. I'm really anxious to find out what you've decided to do. Whether you're going to stay in this town, or go back to the city, or do something else entirely. And I'm going to be forward, as you know I always am. I'd like to know if little old me figures into those plans, somehow. So, anyway, I'll see you there, yeah? Love, Angie. Happy Saturday, everyone. 
It's time once again for a Pio positive <laughs> or that P. Today's verdict is from Cheryl. Hi, Jack. I went for a walk the other day and suddenly encountered a majestic stag. We looked at each other for a few seconds and then he walked off into the woods. Wow, Cheryl. <laughs> I'm glad you could retell the tale. Stags can be dangerous. Today's weather might be dangerous, too. You'll need your raincoat all day long, and there will be a thunderstorm tonight. lighter than I thought. Oh, you're still here, huh? That makes two of us. When are your parents coming back? Actually, they might just stay in Florida. Florida? Your parents? <laughs> Yeah, isn't it weird? They'll be back soon. Florida is expensive and honestly isn't all it's cracked up to be. They found a lovely and affordable place next to the beach. Sunshine and the beach get boring real fast. Well, I better be on my way. Have a nice day.
I'll leave it on the doorstep. Interesting.
It's the mail. I'm busy. Aren't we all? No! Damn it! I almost had it. I almost fucking had it. Thanks for breaking my concentration. Ooh, take it easy. It's just a game. <sighs> Video games are supposed to be fun. I feel horrible. Absolutely horrible. Maybe you should try a different hobby. You know what? I can beat this damn game, and I'm not quitting until I have. Good luck with that. Okay, fellow Providence Okians, it's time once again for the sent-in letters and announcements. This one's from our very own Maureen, or Mo, as we all know. Hey, folks, just wanted to grab your ears for a second to let you know all about the upcoming open mic night over at Mo's Diner this Sunday. That's right. Claim your 15 minutes of fame and join some well performances and the usual good food and drinks for everyone. I expect to see all of y'all for a great evening. And maybe even some dancing. You know who you are. Come join the show at Moe's at 8 p.m. this Sunday. I'll come get you if you don't. Well, you heard her, folks. And I'll be there, too, so you better not miss it. Back to the music and to one of my favorite songs. Mail Carrier Meredith. Farmer DJ Jack. Seen any ghost drivers on the way here? Ghost drivers? Yeah, you know, people driving on the wrong side of the road. Nope, haven't seen them. Okay, I was just wondering. Don't bother. I need to get back to the live show. See you tomorrow, I reckon. Bye now. I reckon. Oh, and please close the door. Don't want to broadcast any mail truck noise. Thank you much.
that's the last of them. So ends a week full of turmoil. Are you happy it's over? If only the Angels hadn't lost to the White Sox. That would have made it perfect. How much would you have won? $876.34. It's been a nice payday, huh? We're playing each other again tonight. Should I change the bet? Nope. Hold the line. Okay. Let's see what happens. Maybe you're my lucky charm. Have a great weekend, Meredith. Oh, wait. This was your last day. I totally forgot to tell you, but they still haven't found someone else for the job. So, I guess, you can have it, if you want. Wow. That sounds quite nice, actually. Of course. And it's a great job. You know what? Think about it, and let me know Monday morning when you return your stuff. I gotta run now. The Red Sox are playing the Yankees. Hello? Hi, Meredith. It's your dad again. How was your time in the mail delivery business? Oh, hi, Dad. Well... I actually really loved it. Awesome. Maybe you should just keep doing it. Worked out well for me. Actually, it seems like they haven't filled the vacancy yet. They haven't? Well, you know what I'd do. Oh, hold on, Meredith. Let me guess. Mom wants to talk to me? Hi, Meredith. Sorry to butt in, but you're thinking about staying in Providence Oaks? Hi, Mom. Well, yeah, why not? I like it here. Well, P.O. is wonderful, of course. I know. But you've got so much going on. Do you want to leave all that behind? It's tricky. It's the thing with having the cake and eating it, too. Is it just work-related, or are there other people involved? You know, any interesting, interesting ones, perhaps? No, no, that's not it. It's just easy going here. The surroundings, the job, the people. Maybe you just need a break. Or maybe this really is what you want. But whatever you decide, Think long and hard on it. Oh, hold on. I have a suspicion Dad wants to talk to me. Meredith, I just wanted to say, you need to clean the lint filter on the dryer every once in a while. If you never do that, it could burn the house down. No problem, Dad. I'll make sure to do that. Great, thanks. I sometimes suddenly worry about things like that in the middle of the night. And it's not about the dryer, of course. I want you to be safe, and I'm sure you'll be okay. I'll be fine. Don't lose sleep over me. Okay, Em. Take care. I gotta go. We're running out of coins again. Bye! I hope you don't think I'm a cheapskate for having dinner here. There aren't a lot of other restaurants around, and I'm pretty sure their food isn't better than Moe's. Don't worry about it, Robert. I love it here. Thanks, Meredith. You're such a kind person. Good evening, you two beautiful people. Ready to order? Ladies first. Hi, Maureen. It's 
It's hard to pass up a juicy T-bone steak. Excellent choice, Meredith. And what would you like to wash it down with? Hmm. I think I'll have a... glass of wine. Gotcha. Robert? The usual for me, Maureen. All right, Robert. T-bone steak and a beer. Doesn't get any more lumberjack than that. Be right back, folks. Ashley, get the steaks out! Maureen's the best. Did you hear about the open mic night she's organizing? Yeah, she only told me about it a dozen times. I wish I could go, especially since I heard that Jack's gonna do a thing. Jack? What's he gonna do? Give a lecture about potatoes? Believe it or not, he's a very good ballet dancer. Jack? Really? <laughs> no, he's into comedy. Would have loved to peckled him. Oh well, this is a good week anyhow. Must be nice that the apartments are off your mind for a while. Alrighty, here are your beverages, folks. I'm afraid the food might take a little longer, as a certain kitchen helper thought the freezer was a good place for storing steaks. Ugh, I really should get one of those microwave ovens to defrost them. You seem a little stressed. Is it the upcoming open mic? Why should I be stressed about that? It's going to be lovely. And you better be there, Robert Harris. Maureen, I'm sorry, but I'm afraid I won't be able to make it. I did not just hear you say that, young man. Oh, by the way, Meredith, I need to steal him for two minutes. He needs to check on some wiring for me. Excuse me, Meredith. This is Maureen's jurisdiction. Have to obey the law. Mmm, that tasted so good. Thanks, Maureen, for the fantastic blueberry pie. You're welcome. It's my way of making up for stealing you away from Meredith. Ooh, I swear. She can give quite the stink eye if she wants, can't you, hon? Oh boy, the world would be boring without her. Speaking of, are you gonna miss your daily delivery round? Not really. I'm looking forward to going back to the big city. Ah, the big city. That's not for me. Have you always lived in a small town? Yeah, Providence Oaks is my second one. After my divorce, I had to move away from the first one. Everything and everyone reminded me of her. And how are you now? Have you gotten over it? But maybe I shouldn't bother you with the innermost feelings of a lumberjack. Maybe not. I mean, if you don't want to. Robert and Meredith, sorry to break up your conversation, but we're closing up early tonight. Gotta set up some stuff for the open mic night, and I can't use any peeping eyes. Oh, okay, Maureen. No problem. Let me get the check for you, so I can leave you two to your lovely evening. Can you put it on my tab, Maureen? Anything for you, darling. Do you mind if I pay? Or at least for half of it? Meredith, after all your help, this is the least I can do. So, yes, by mind. Now let's get going before Maureen gets her broom out. Meredith, thanks again for your help. I'm not sure what would have happened if you hadn't come here with your mail delivery vacation. You're welcome, Robert. I was happy to help you out. A little help goes a long way. Hope to see you around again. You too, Robert. Take care. But you're not leaving without a hug.
<laughs> anyway, I love this town. You know I do. So, I'm dedicating my last jokes to specific people here tonight. The first one's for Maureen. A guy walks into a bar, and dozens of slabs of meat are hanging from the ceiling. So he asks the bartender, what's up with the hanging meat up there, man? So the bartender says, ah, you're new here. Well, we like to play a game here. If you can jump up and slap a steak, the house will pay for your drinks all night. However, if you miss, you have to pay everyone else's bar tab. So, wanna give it a go? Nah, says the man. <laughs> Those steaks are too high. <laughs> this one's for our own newcomer, Meredith Weiss. So, a woman's driving down the freeway, but all of a sudden, she hears a local news bulletin warning drivers on the very freeway she's on. They're saying, Please be advised of this very dangerous situation of a car going the wrong way. So the woman says to herself, What car? <laughs> Why, there's dozens! <laughs> well, folks, wasn't that special? Now, let me know if any of you have any jokes about Jack, you hear? It's an open mic, after all. <laughs> it's actually time for a little break right now. So come on up to the bar for some of our finest concessions. We'll continue shortly. Mildred, how are you? And how are the cats? Fine on both counts, dear. Thank you for asking. So, do you like the hair? To be completely honest, it doesn't look all that different. Hmm. To be honest, it feels like a waste anyway, as I can only stay for a few moments. Really? What's the rush? You see, my son decided to drop by, unannounced, and he's staying the whole weekend. Oh, that's wonderful news. Mm-hmm. All right, well, anyway, Take care, dear. Now, where did he park the car? Yes, it's me, Matt Kearney, in an egg brace. Real funny, huh? Oh, hi, Matt. What happened? Well, I was about to send the final boss, the afterlife, but then the computer crashed. I kicked my foot out in anger and fell from my chair, and now I'm here looking like a loser. Oh, poor you. I hope you'll be okay again soon. I hope so. I can't even use my computer right now. Guess who? Jeffrey Beaumont? Ah, <laughs> oh, now I'm going to be a disappointment. It's just me. Even better. Though I never would have guessed. So, what have I missed? Not much. Jack just did some comedy. But the final act is supposed to be the real showstopper. At least, that's what Maureen tells me. Really? Well then, I guess I arrived just in time. So, how have you been? Busy packing, I guess. Super busy. Again, I'm sorry I didn't have more time to... Hey, Meredith! Hey, Angie! Sorry to pop in like this, but I just wanted to inform you I fixed everything on the RV. She's got a new radio, I replaced some wiring, adjusted windshield wiper speed. The sea turtle is ready to go! <laughs> That's great, Lori. Thanks. I'm sure she's just like new. Well, I wouldn't say that, but you'll see. Gotta go later! An RV? You never told me you had an RV. Well, it's kind of a recent development. You know Mickey and June? The hippie couple? Sure do. They told me it was mine if I wanted it. And I did. Then Lori gave it a checkup. And now I am the proud owner of this sea turtle. Wow, good for you. I'd love a free RV. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with it. Cool. So, where are you going to take it? Wherever the open road takes me. Sounds good to me. A free spirit, the way Mickey and June intended. Can I come? <laughs> it 
Well, you are a good kisser. Hmm. There's plenty more where that came from. But at some point, you've got to give me a definite answer. You get that, right? Look alive, folks. It's time for the final act. It's a doozy. <laughs> Saved by the bell, babe. I got stuff to do anyway. Fine. Leave. Dear people, none other than our own Kay Evans will perform next. She has been writing songs since she was a little girl. And I cannot say how thrilled I am to host her first performance of hopefully many to come. I am so proud of you, honey. Please put your hands together for Kay, everyone. Drive on, or go left, go right. Suddenly, these choices make me smile. What if I just enjoy the ride? Life's a game of chance for every break you get. You leave another one behind. Just as long as you keep trying, you will get there. This does not happen a lot, but you have left me speechless. That was K, people. Another round of applause. Well, it's a good thing I didn't leave when Reynolds started his nonsense. This kid can sing. Oh, hi, Mr. Mackey. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, it's good to see someone flourish. But I'd rather be home right now. Isn't it fun to step out every once in a while? Smoking a pipe and reading a proper book is the only acceptable way to spend a Sunday evening in September. Bert, thank you so much for coming. I know you'd rather be somewhere else right now. That's okay, kid. I don't regret it one bit. You did great. But ladies, if you'll excuse me, I'm out of here. Good night, Bird. Thanks again. And now for an announcement. I'm serious, so hush now. Now, you all know that Kay has been working here at the diner for quite a while now. In fact, she was my anchor after Stan left us. And I think the time has come to formally announce right here that I will put your name above the door of this place, honey, where it belongs. Kay's place. Mokays. We haven't settled on a name yet, but there you go. Another round of applause. And have some drinks with us. That was amazing. Oh my gosh, thank you so much, Em. It felt amazing. I was so super nervous, you know? Like, shaking and all that. I'm so glad it went well. 